Hello and welcome. This is the scene here at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Connor Cody, number 27. Roman Seis, number three. Ryan H. Murray, number eight. Ruben Neves, number 28. Joe Martinho, number 37. Adama Traore. The initial 11 for Wolves. Joao Moutinho plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. N'Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Romelu Lukaku. Thank you for attending today's game at the Royal Stadium. Enjoy the match. And now they get the ball rolling. This is looking threatening. And space for the cross. Not really the ideal clearance. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Nicely cut out. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And now they have the ball back. Mount, Lukaku, you'd really have to switch on the turbo to get to that pass. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Well, oh, it's a real concern looks from the bench, I have to tell you, because he's landed right on top of his elbow, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. An important interception. Mount. Terrific block. Applying vigorous pressure. And making the move to the inside. Moutinho. Wang Hee Chan. Now what can they do from here? And let's give credit to the defending. Lukaku It's with Marcos Alonso Havertz Marcos Alonso A chance to whip it in Not at all problematic for the goalkeeper And taking it away Threaded through by Lukaku. But not quite what was needed. I really thought they were going to open up the defence. Extremely sloppy in possession. Conte. 
and back with Lukaku body on the line and at first glance you would think a strong possibility of a red card let's see well he's going to be taking no further part in this match well it's not a clever challenge is it they're going to have to dig in now Ruben Neves Nelson Semedo has it Neves and fine work from Chelsea to win the ball back Jorginho and Golo Conte. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's been a little between these two teams. It's been a really tight and cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little and that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Must take the lead here. Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. An authoritative challenge. Oh, big chance! And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Jorginho. Here's Mount. Jorginho. They do pass the ball with authority. Targets available. Cross comes in. But goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. Jimenez. And space available inside. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, Raul Jimenez wasn't quiet in the first half. What did you make of his contribution? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal. But I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. So the ball rolling once more, and although Wolves are in front, they won't be taking anything for granted here. Great vision to switch the play. Jimenez. Nuri. Huang Hee-chan. Well, racing past his man. That's a useful cross. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Jorginho Havertz and they need to get tighter here options in the centre well, not the best clearance and in the end no damage done slipshod passing He's beaten his man. And it's come off the keeper. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. 
Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Substitution time it is here. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Jimenez. And Wolves struggling to keep the ball. Pulisic. Here's Mount. Is it going to be Pulisic? Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Really good high press. Well, possibilities inside the box. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, as you can see, Wolves are struggling to control possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Well, they couldn't keep it. Jorginho and will it be the leveller oh it was there for him well it's not a good finish is it that was a glorious opportunity Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Favouring the short one. And smart defending. Useful looking ball. Can he do it? Well, up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. Pulisic. Marcus Alonso. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. He's going forward well here. Cuts it back. He's blocked it. Well, not long to go to full time now. And Wolves in control of the situation, Stuart. Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack. And of course, they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Applying vigorous pressure. Excellent ball over the top. Oh, well, terrific save. Well, that's surely it. That was possibly their last chance. What a great save that was. Delivering it. Well, he almost headed it in. Substitution for Wolverhampton Wanderers. And time for the change now. Number eight, Ruben Neves. To be replaced by... Number 32, Leander Dendonka. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. He's lost it. Christensen. James. Chelsea couldn't maintain possession. Well, Wolves, I think, deserve to be in front, but they need to see this through now and what backing they're getting from these fans. The atmosphere is electric. They've got it now. What can they do? After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Coming off the pitch, number nine, Raul Pérez, to replace by 
Number 17, Fabio Silva. Not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And the referee blows the whistle, and it is officially a win for Wolves. No fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, Raul Jimenez, difficult to contain. We've said that before, of course. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.